this. 300 likes. 300 likes. Are you happy? <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And uh, yeah, I did your dare. And it was hot outside, so I came inside. It's, it's Arizona. I live in Arizona, okay? So that's why my shirt's off. I'm sorry. It's my house. I can do what I want. So fluff you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm not naked, but I'm not going to show you guys below because that's kind of raunchy. And most of you guys are guys, so that's kind of gay. So don't think like that. Not the homosexuality is bad. Whatever. Okay, so today we're going over something awesome. But before we do it, I wanted to ask you guys for another, but actually no, 350 likes this time. And you guys can dare me to do something again. And yes, it was very embarrassing. Right after I turned off the camera, I think like two or three neighbors were like looking at me. And one of them I talked to and told them that I... I'm on YouTube and stuff, but yeah. So now I'm just talking. Uh, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so here is the ink reveal tutorial we are doing today, if you didn't notice in the intro. Pretty uh, pretty awesome. This is all custom made in After Effects, not like the background, but if you check the check it, it fades in, and that is a custom ink reveal. So yeah, let's get to it. So open up After Effects. And uh, first thing we're going to do is double click in this area over here. And if you have uh, video copilot stuff, you can use any of these textures. But uh, I just went on Google and I typed in grunge texture and I found this really cool one. So I'm just going to open that one. And also, um, I downloaded a font from defont.com called Revolution 2. And it's actually very intense on your computer, but is it is such a cool looking uh, font. So if you want to download it, I'll put that in the description. So uh, back to After Effects. Okay. So that's the font I'm going to be using. But let's click this little button down here to create a new composition. I'm going to be using full 1080p HD. Um, let's make the duration about six seconds, not 625, just six seconds. Okay. Hit OK. And now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag and drop the grunge layer onto the background, and then we're going to turn it off. And we're going to right click, we're going to go new, solid, and we're going to call this BG. Okay? And you can make it whatever color you want because we're going to be changing it, but I'll make it magenta just because uh, that's a cool color. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so go over to your effects and presets, and let's type in ramp. And let's uh, generate a ramp on top of your new magenta layer. And uh, let's pick some colors, but I'm going to pick uh, a light gray for the top. I'm going to pick a darker gray for the bottom. Then I'm going to do a radial ramp. I'm going to turn up that scatter a lot, just so it's a smooth transition. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to drag it underneath the grunge texture. And let's actually rename that too. Let's just call it grunge. And now let's set that to overlay. Why didn't it work? Oh, yeah, because I turned it off. Derp. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so now you're getting a kind of uh, fade-out look. It's kind of cool, right? Um, but I actually want to just fix these colors up until I get something that I like. Yeah, that's kind of bright up there, and that's not dark enough. So, yeah, that's that's fading a little more down here. So, it's a little more. Boom. Okay, I like that. Now we're going to hit Control T to uh, type in our our font. And uh, Revolution 2 is what I'm using, but you guys can use whatever you want. And I just clicked off of it, so I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to type in Check It, because uh, that's the name of our company. I'm going to size it way up. That's a little too big. That's what she said. Let's go down a little bit. That's not what she said. Um... What should we make it? Just make it the size that your heart desires, okay? I'm not I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, okay? Um, that's looking a little better. Let's go. Let's just make it a nice 580. Okay, so now let's uh, do it by eye and just center it. Okay. 
right there looks good and uh, that actually looks pretty centered to me okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the ramp again we're going to drag and drop the ramp on top of check it and then we're going to just uh, pick any colors once again I'm gonna pick two kind of dark colors uh, radial ramp and we're gonna do a nice dark gray Okay, should maybe a little darker, almost pitch black gray. Gray. Okay, select the ramp. I'm gonna bring it down. Just, just basically beautifying the image before we apply other stuff to it. So that's cool. I like that. So now we get down to the actual ink reveal, and it's actually easier than you would uh, first guess. So let's go new, solid. And let's just do a nice uh, white solid. And then hit OK. And then we're going to select the pen. And we're just going to create a nice shape. Doesn't matter what the shape is. But uh, there we go. I want to make a kind of uh, ditto kind of a thing. It's, uh, it's modern art. Don't make fun of it. I'm going to call this Luma Ink. OK, so. Now we're going to go over to the effects and presets again, and we're going to type in, whoa, 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 not ROP, Ruffin, for Ruffin Edges. And this is actually a pretty cool, powerful tool within After Effects. Comes with it, doesn't cost any money, so uh, be happy about that. We're going to size up the border a ton, like into the 200s, and then we're going to turn down the edge sharpness to like 0.3, and we're going to turn up the complexity to 10. And with that, you're already getting that really cool look. So now, what we can do is we're going to hit MM to bring up the mask properties. And we're going to toggle. Actually, let's go forward some. Let's go to like one second. And then we're going to toggle on the mask ex expansion. And we're going to go into the negatives until it all disappears. So keep going. Keep going. Okay, so negative 163, let's just make it a nice negative 170, just for, uh, you know, insanity purposes. And we're going to go up to where we want the effect to end. Let's go to like 410. And we're going to go all the way up until it reveals, all the way to the edges, because it really doesn't matter how far we go out. Okay, so now the effect is actually done. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, you guys can just render this out and show it to your friends and be all happy. Just kidding. I always get you guys with some stupid stuff. Okay, so here's what we're actually going to do. We're going to select, check it, and then we're going to hit uh, F4 if you don't already have these options up, and you're going to go to the track mat, and we're going to do Luma Mat and then Luma Ink because that's what we named that. Whatever you named it, that's what we want. So now, if you go back you will see that it uses that Luma mat or Luma mask, whichever one you want to call it, to reveal the check it layer. And it's pretty awesome. You guys can make as many of these as you want. The expansion is actually the speed at which it uh, reveals the text. So keep that in mind. But um, as for everything else, now it's just up to us to beautify it. So let's do it. Um, check it. Let's change that to overlay because it makes a cool kind of look there and then let's go uh, let's do a new adjustment layer and let's just call this I'm gonna hit enter and type in CC for color correction you know it's uh, it's what us professionals like to use <laughs> what the heck? okay and now let's uh, do a nice exposure we don't really use exposure that much so let's uh, let's use that and let's just turn this up until we get an effect we like. I think I added at like 31 before and it looked pretty cool. And it looks okay. Um, let's just mess with it. Whoa, no. Let's go into the negatives. Whoa, way too dark. That's what she said. Um, negative 0.300. Eh. Eh. Eh, I'm not really liking how this is turning out right now. It's kind of grayish. It's very grayish. Hmm. 
Well, then let's not use exposure then. Let's use curves to get that nice dark look. Because we like the tall, dark, and handsome. Now let's bring that down and then do a nice little S curve. Oh, a little too dark. Ooh, okay, I like that. That's actually looking pretty cool. Now it's looking kind of like evil. Like you, you went into an ancient Egyptian pyramid and on the wall, just a little crack in the wall was shining through and it made light and then boom, ink was thrown out of blood at the wall and it made, check it. Whoa, I just made a movie. I'm so going to propose that to a uh, high up company. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Okay, uh, it's looking a little too dark on the outside, actually, now that I look at it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to go to the background options. I'm going to make it a lighter gray so it doesn't, so it actually brings back some of those edges. Uh, yeah, so that's actually looking pretty cool now. I like that. So awesome. Um... I guess we could just put a nice zoom in on it. I mean, why why not, right? So let's create a new camera. Let's name it just camera instead of camera one. I don't know why After Effects does that by accident or just on purpose to annoy me. But uh, preset, let's just use a 35 millimeter camera. And now let's uh, bring up the options. Go down to camera options. And then for zoom, we're going to uh, bring the timeline in indicator all the way to the far left. We're going to toggle the keyframe for zoom. We're going to go all the way to the end, and we are going to just zoom in to the point that we want. So, keep going. I don't see it even changing. Oh, I know why. Because when you make a camera, you have to set all of these to 3D now. It's the world we live in, guys. I know. I know it's annoying. But it's just how it is. Okay, so that's zoomed in way too far. Um... We don't want it too too much of a zoom or else it just doesn't look that good. So that actually now it looks awesome. So nice subtle zoom. And with that, now you are really done. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you guys can always add in more effects to this color correction layer if you want. I mean, you can go to the reds and you can uh, turn down the, the reds some. You can turn down the greens some. Just a, just a tad, keep those brights though, or else it's going to look weird. And then, you know, amp up the blues a little bit. Let's just see what that does. Whoa! Gives us a nice kind of vintage look. It's kind of dark though. So let's go back, actually, I, but I like that coloring. So let's keep that, go back to RGB, and brighten it up some. Yeah, that's freaking cool. Uh, then go back to here. Wow, now, now I'm just messing with it some more. But um, yeah, with that, guys, you guys are done. So if you guys want to stop watching, you can. I'm just, oh yeah, I'm gonna render this out. I'll uh, I'll include this whole project in the description. So yeah, download it. Give this video a like because you guys can leave a dare, and I'll do it. But guys, no no like gay dares or you know money dares. I I can't give away the money I need. Okay, I need some money. I have no friends, so I have to go bowling by myself sometimes and stuff, okay? It's expensive. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next Friday. Um, and I love you. I really do. <laughs> see you guys later. Stay tuned for Brandon's tutorial on Tuesday. And uh, I will see you guys later. I don't know how many times I said that, but bye. Bye.